So here's what I'm algo trading for 2023. A lot of my viewers have been asking me, hey, Jacob, what are you trading? What's your portfolio? How many bots are you running? What systems are you running? Are you trading indexes? Are you trading gold? Are you trading futures, stocks, options? So in this whole video, I'm gonna wrap it all up and explain to you what exactly I'm trading and my setup for 2023. If you wanna learn more about automated trading and trading bots, see the description below. There's a couple of links where you can work with me. So in total, I have 38 bots that trade. About 80% of them day trade, meaning they sell their positions on the trading session close. For most of them, that's at 4 p.m. Eastern, which is normal stock market hours. But I, have a do, I do have a few trading systems that sell on the future session close at 5 p.m. Eastern. So once again, 38 total bots, 80% of them day trade, meaning they sell their positions on market close. The remaining 20% do swing trade, meaning they hold a position overnight over that 5 p.m. futures cutoff. I only trade futures. I don't trade stocks. I don't trade options. I don't trade crypto. I don't trade Forex. Only futures. I like the diversity and the leverage that futures uh, provides. Now, within those bots, about 70% of them trade indexes, right? So that's the e-mini uh, NASDAQ and e-mini S&P 500 futures um, indexes. So 70% of them trade indexes. 20% of them trade gold. So that instrument is GC, e-mini gold futures. Or no, I don't think that's e-mini, I think that's the full size contract. Um, so t once again, 70% of them trade indexes, 20% of them trade gold, and the remaining 10% trade oil futures. And that symbol is CL, okay? So 38 total bots, 80% day trade, 20% swing trade, 70% of those bots trade indexes, 20% of those trade gold, and 10% of those trade oil. So you might be asking yourself, hey, Jacob, why is 70% of your trading systems in indexes? Aren't you over leveraged? Aren't you highly correlated with indexes? Shouldn't you trade more different markets to get diversification? And that's a really good question. And I have an answer for you. So yes, 70% of my trading systems are in indexes, but they're not correlated. Let me explain. Each of my systems that trade indexes trade on different timeframes, and they have different entry and exit parameters, right? So I have some that trade on one minute bars, some that trade on five minute, some that trade on 60 minute bars. So when you do that, initially, you can have uncorrelated trading systems because even if they're trading the same symbol, they're at different times. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a separate video on how to build multiple trading systems for one symbol because there is benefits to doing that. So timeframes, that's one change. Um, some of the trading systems, or all of the trading systems have different entry parameters. Some of them look at different patterns, different price action. They trade at different times of the day. Uh, they, use, they use different indicators, right? So when you have different entry signals, you can, you know, once again, have uncorrelated systems. They're entering at different times and on different sides. And lastly, they have different exits, right? A lot of my trading systems, will, all of them have different exits, you know? They'll have different trailing stop amounts, different ATR exits, different profit targets and stop losses, percentages versus currency. Some of them exit after X amount of bars have passed, right? So all of them are kind of unique in their own entry and exit ways, and that can allow you to build uncorrelated systems for the same symbol. One of the main benefits of building uncorrelated sy systems for the same instrument is that when you have periods of volatility, right? D uh, you know, massive price movement on the downside or on the upside, a lot of those bots will group up and enter in that one direction, and you can actually have really big winning days. And so during, yeah, during volatile days, you can have awesome winning days. And during days of chop, not all the bots will enter. So, you know, obviously anytime you have low volatility, you're usually, you know, losing money, especially with day trading systems. The swing trading systems don't matter as much. But on the choppy days, a lot of them won't enter, but on really volatile days, a lot of them will enter, and usually, you know, that you get massive big winners. So my win rate on a daily basis isn't that great. It's like 45 or 46%, but the winning days are much, much bigger. And as long as you can stomach that and have the risk tolerance and capital requirements to do that, uh, it does benefit you in the long run and you can have a pretty smooth equity curve. So there is benefits to building multiple trading systems for one symbol. Am I saying you have to do it? No, you know, definitely trade other markets, diversify, trade different symbols, different instruments. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, 
but there, there is, you know, you can succeed by building multiple trading systems for one symbol. Once again, I still trade gold and oil. They're just not as big in my portfolio because I'm not as good. I'm not as good as understanding them. And gold and oil are much tougher than indexes. They're not usually mean reverting. Um, they're much more sporadic in their returns, especially on a yearly basis. And it takes a lot of work and research to truly understand them. And I'm just not there yet. I'm trying to master indexes first. I want to get really good at trading indexes, really understanding how they work in the long run and trying to find alpha just with indexes before I focus on other, you know, exotic instruments and other markets. Because I, I feel like, or I believe that you should master one thing first before you move on to the next, right? And, you know, try and automate the other stuff that you don't like doing. You'll find more success with mastering one thing instead of trying to be, you know, good at 10 other things, right? What's the saying? It's, um, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. I think yeah, that's the saying. Jack of all trades, master of none. It basically means that if you try everything, you're not gonna be good at any one thing and you'll just waste your time. It's better to be good at one thing. And that one thing I wanna be good at is indexes and understanding those. So that's why I trade uh, primarily with indexes. Once again, you can find success with diversifying and maybe you have one system for, for different symbols, but you can also uh, have success with trading multiple strategies for one symbol. So I hope you found value in this video. Let me summarize again my portfolio. I'm trading 38 total bots, 80% of those bots day trade, 20% of those bots swing trade, and 70% of those bots, or sorry, so that's the day trading swing trading portion. And then as the actual instruments, 70% of them are indexes, so that's ES and NQ futures. 20% 20 20 of them are gold, which is GC, simple GC, and 10% is oil, and that symbol is CL. I, once again, I only trade futures. I like the leverage and diversity, and that's my portfolio. On a monthly basis, I may add some, I may remove some depending on different metrics and different correlation analysis, but that's what I'm trading for 2023. So let me know in the comments below if you found value in this video, if my portfolio is similar to yours, or if yours is vastly different, let me know why and why you think I'm right or wrong. I'd love to hear it. And I will make a separate video on how to build multiple trading systems for one symbol. And we'll talk about the benefits of that specifically. We'll do that in a, in a separate video, but I think you guys would find value in that. So anyways, hope you found value and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.